Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore Iron Man Progress. We are currently on episode 49. Don't worry, soon enough you'll probably see Galvec devour my life force on the next upcoming episode. But before we do that, I did want to quickly mention something cool. If you see here, my bank value for the first time ever in old school RuneScape across all my accounts has surpassed one bill. That is amazing to see. Uh, obviously, that's because of the addition of the Pegasian boots, which honestly, that's probably one of the best moments of my account. That being said, I've uh, planned out some skilling grinds for this episode. I do want to get my hands on 90 smithing to start with. Uh, I have quite a few adamant bars and I feel like making some more addy darts would probably be the way to go since I'm down to like 1k. Well, 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 it's uh, certainly been a while since we've been able to complete a master level clue scroll. We did get one at the end of the medium clue opening session last episode and we did get the casket just now. So let's see if we can grab any uniques. Ooh, old demon mask, rogue bottom of darkness, two uniques in one. Hell yeah, I'm actually a quite a big fan of the old demon mask. That is beautiful, dude. Some standard alcohols as well. It's not too bad. I'll take it. Two uniques, dude. Let's go. Currently coming up on level 90 smithing here on the hardcore. Made more than 10,000 adamant dart tips, so that should last for a very long time. Uh, but more importantly, that is going to be our 17th skill currently to get to level 90 or above, with only a few remaining, uh, such as prayer, rune crafting, and a few others. But yeah, very nice uh, level right there. Do we unlock anything? Ooh, we can make a draconic visage. I never knew that unlocked so far as level 90 geez that's after the ellie as well but yeah very nice um i'll continue training for now with these dart tips let's make the rest of this ammunition and maybe we'll do some blast furnace in the near future but yeah 90 smithing obtained very nice all done now there's a uh, 15.6k adamant darts to add to the blowpipe let's also take a look at the fletching xp we've gained 235k in a very short amount of time very very nice as you can see here the xp per hour was like 900k just a second ago but yeah uh more importantly that is now a lot of ammunition we have for the blowpipe let's add these in it should be like 17k i think uh let's see that is going to be a total of 16.3k and another 100. That's very nice. Now that we have sorted out the smithing element of the episode, the next thing I'd like to move on to would be construction. Uh, as you guys know, I have now finished any and all attempts of medium clues via eclectics, so it feels like a good time to offload these 7,000 oak planks. I'll be making all the dungeon doors. I'm going to quickly just check how much XP I can expect. I've calculated that 7,000 oak planks will equal out to about 420,000 construction XP, so don't underestimate how much you can bank via the eclectic grind. I only wonder how much the rank 1 guy must have banked. It's got to be like 90 freaking plus construction by now. But yeah, let's get started. Make some of these dungeon doors. Then I will also be making uh, some teak stuff afterwards. Coming in with the first of the construction levels of the grind. Currently achieving level 86. My current goal is uh, to get to level 88. Upon which time I can start using master stash unit tabs. So yeah, I'll uh, be making a few of those even though they are very, very expensive. Anyways, let's uh, finish off these last vestiges of the oak planks. Uh, I'm gonna be missing this oak dungeon door method. It's so good. I just love it so much. Finished up the last of the planks now. 8,000 teaks at our disposal for these coming two construction levels. Uh, apart from that, 3.5 mil GP invested to convert them. Probably another half a mil to get the demon butler to run back and forth and unnote them. Let's get these two levels and then we'll spend even more GP on the master stashes. Should currently be coming up on the final construction level of the grind. I'm not gonna lie, man. Teague benches are not my favorite thing to build in the game. Like, this is uh, just easier to build oak dungeon doors. But either ways, there is level 88 obtained. Three levels in the course of this episode. And more importantly, we can now construct some master level stash units, which we'll do next, which is uh, very, very exciting. And total level 2138 currently. There's uh, some more skilling objectives lined up for the rest of this episode as well. One more good thing about the construction grind later on in these kind of levels is uh, you still get a few milestones that you can unlock. For example, at level 90, I can now build the largest stash oven raids. So I'll be getting two more levels shortly after these. Uh, not in the same episode, but maybe a bit later on. As well as that is a spirit tree with the fairy ring at 95. And then obviously, you know, 99, you get the 
cape, which is very, very useful. So, um, you know, training construction does have a lot of benefits later on. Also, I've done some research on the master stashes I can currently construct. It's only about seven at the moment, but still that set me back 900k just for the gold leaves required. Um, but that being said, you know, there's not a lot of good gold sinks at my level in the game. So I'm happy to pay for that stash and free up some bank space. So let's go ahead and construct the ones I can do right now. And maybe in the next few episodes, I'll work on getting some more completed. So perhaps these master stashes are not the best investment of my time or money, but is these kind of steps like the Entrana Church one that I won't ever have to worry about bringing Dehyde and killing like freaking dragons or something, you know? Um, so it's definitely quite good for me to be able to make stuff like this. Nice. There is second stash unit completed. Feels good. Finally finished off some of these stash units now. I have uh, constructed a total of 7 out of 22 possible stash units, which is still pretty decent. I will uh, continue working on some of these objectives in the background, such as uh, a full barrels chest, another fire cape, as well as a uh, third scepter. So eventually I'll be filling out a few more of these, but... As you know, there's a few in Deep Wilderness and like just a few items I won't really be doing, like the Briofita stuff. Um, I don't think I'll be grinding that, at least not in the short term. But yeah, 7 out of 22 constructed, not too bad. Time for the first raid of the episode. Best of luck, boys. What are we going to see today? Any purple lights? Not for me. Ooh, Elite Clue and Dragon Arrows. I'll take it. Very nice. My man Horatio coming in with the completed elite clue from raids. Can we see any unique loot from this one? Unfortunately not. My short term construction goal has been completed. We've built our stash units. Next up is time to go back to the model load mine for the next six to 10 hours and become the biggest cave dweller in existence. This is because I'm currently level 83 mining. I'm uh, two levels away from being able to mine Runite all directly. So I would like to get my hands on those two levels just now. Uh, that would be a big advantage for keeping tabs on my ammo for the blowpipe and so forth. Any other rune stuff we really need to make going forward, which is uh, really cool as well. And that will give me a couple of total levels up to 2140. At the same time, I'll be able to AFK my Iron Man and uh, get a few Slayer levels. I'm currently level 91, so I'll need four more levels to be able to uh, practice the Hydra on that account. So it's the perfect place right now. Let's uh, go ahead and do some mining content. Good luck, fellas. Second raid of the day. What can we see? Oh, yes, my boy. Yes, a Dex has been seen. My boy B-Train. Yo, grats, my guy. What a beastly day for the man himself. Congrats B-Train on the decks. The brother himself. About to end off the third raid of the day. Any purples for the boys? <gasps> what? No way! The first ever mega rare ever seen. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. Yo, shouts out to my man Wizard for the Eldermore acquisition. I think he's like 400 raids deep. Probably not what he wants to see right now, but hey, what a beastly drop, dude. Congratulations, this is the episode of Purple Seemingly. What a beastly drop for the man himself. Anything for me? Not quite, but yeah. This is it, time for the fourth alm of the day. Can we see a back-to-back? -back? No, not today. That's not too bad though. 23.7k points on that one. Ooh, elite clue coming in for your boy. You always love to see it. At least there's that little pick-me-up for the no back-to-back, -back, but... We've been so lucky in raids anyway, seeing all these purples. Not in our name, but for the boys. It's always good for the boys. Man, I'll tell you guys what, that was a lively intermission. Lot of eventful stuff going down there between the one mining level. We ended up seeing two purples at raids that like almost never happens. Uh, but either way, we have AFK'd for a long time now at the Motherload Mine. Just coming up on the last bit of XP then, we will have unlocked uh, level 85 mining. The stuff dreams are made of, dude. I'll finally be able to mine Runite and keep my uh, ammo supply for the blowpipe nice and high as well, which is uh, very cool indeed. Just one ore left to go. Uh, and yeah, we'll also get access to the master clue uh, that requires mining a Runite rock with the full prospector set. But there she is, the first ever time getting 85 mining on any account. That should also be quite useful for um, Guardians and Scaled Rocks in raids. So uh, good all round to get 85. I'll eventually be going for the Dragon Pickaxe, but that might be after 90 mining. Uh, in any case, we've now got an 85 mining. Let's move on to my next skilling objective. I had to do it. I had to test this out. I'm actually mining Runite for the first time in the game. 
Oh, this feels so good. I wonder how long it's going to take. Probably about 20 goddamn minutes with 85 mining and a rune pick. But hey, let's go do it. There we go. That took about 30 seconds to get one piece of rune ore, But that was hella satisfying, dude. Oh, you love to see it. I might hop a few worlds and get a few rocks, you know? Why not? Why not? Earlier in the episode, if you guys remember, I got an elite clue from uh, Chambers that is now completed alongside an easy, which I've also obtained from a birdhouse run. So can we get anything good from the easy, first of all? Ooh, a master clue. That is very unexpected. Some noted trout as well. Noted salmon, I should say. Uh, can we attempt it? Looks like we can. Uh, on to the elite casket. I'm feeling a mimic. Maybe not. Not quite, dude. That, that reward is a bit shit. But um, yeah, let's try and attempt the master as well. No, I got a big egg step with a brine saver again. Another one that's incompletable because it's in the wilderness. That is a damn shame, dude. Oh well, we'll get more Master Kalulu in the short term, I hope. The kingdom has now been lying dormant since before the Twisted League began, so it's been roughly about three months. I think this is by far like the biggest collection I'm ever going to get, so let's get to it. I'm going to do some herb lore as well, currently uh, 670k away from level 97, and I've already got tons of herbs in the bank. So let's go ahead and uh, check the resources we've been able to get. Holy shit, almost 300 rain hours alone. Holy crap, look at these seeds as well. Nice amount of bird's nests. Teak logs, 15,000, that should easily get us to 90 construction as well. Uh, not that we're doing that anytime soon, but hell yeah, look at all this XP, dude. This is going to be beautiful. I'm going to get all these cleaned and then uh, do a quick price check of all the herbs I'm going to be working with. But yeah, for now as well, let's uh, deposit some cash um, as well. So, ooh, we're down to 4k. I wonder how long the coffers have been empty because I literally had max cash in there. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, put some more stuff in for now. What's max cash even? Is it like 7.5? I think that should be, yep, just about... Oh, that looks clean. I love it. Right, we'll leave that on um, on the current settings, I think, as well. I might put one on coal just to keep sure, uh, keep up on the ammunition for the blowpipe as well, since uh, Teak is already looking really good for 90. But yeah, let's get to it now. Uh, do a price check of all the herbs. It's really going to be big this time around. These are the final stacks of herbs. It took a while to clean the grimy ones, but as you can see here, this is a lot of stuff to work with. The irrit seeds, the irrit leaves alone, I mean, are going to be like more than half of our XP towards 97 which is just insane uh, however let's put everything in the price check I'm curious to see how much this is my bet is going to be somewhere around a 50 mil mark holy shit 45 mil just in herbs and all these made into stamina as well oh man this is going to be some really good XP I'm going to make a note of how much I had at the start and get on with it. I'm assuming it's going to be more than 1.5 mil gained. Incoming raid number 130 on the hardcore. Can we see any real purples before the episode's end? Not quite this time, but we are at a respectable kill count now. It's not too bad. You know, the switches have increased as well. We're looking pretty good. And uh, the point totals keep going up. Average on about 20, 22k, which is eh, far from the perfect setting, but still quite good. Well, 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 right before we begin the herb lore grind, there's a new PB coming in at Hespori sub 50 second, which is uh, pretty, pretty decent, you know, considering I haven't used the tentacle whip. Any crystal halley specs, I usually just go in with the warhammer, but yeah, 138 kill count. Feels good. Well, we had a green cash stack at the start of the episode, and now we're about to go into poverty once again. Let's make these unfinished potions, if I have enough money even. This is like by large amounts, the largest amount of herb lore supplies I've ever converted with this chick. Holy shit, 3 mil? Fuck, we are desperately in need of money again. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I guess we'll have to uh, return to Slayer pretty shortly. Uh, that being said, this is going to be tons and tons of XP, so let's get to work. We've been at this for a while now, making uh, some decent headway into these potions. Still more than 8,000 left to go, but more importantly, there is level 97 herb lore. That only means that the uh, remaining two levels are left to go right now and then we will have finished off max herb lore and also we do unlock something quite useful at this level which is uh, divine super combat potions after some of the elves i'll be able to make some of these which are really good for bossing and the stats that you consume don't go down until the potion runs out which is i believe five minutes and then they stay boosted up to the max so that is a very useful unlock i think uh but yeah two levels left let's go coming up on a very important level here i didn't think i would achieve this but here we go level 98 
Herb Lore. Very significant now, we uh, have one level left to go until we have maxed Herb Lore on a hardcore man. That is not something you see every day. I think that brings me within the top uh, 60 now for this skill. And there's still a fair few potions left to make. We got uh, 500 more brews, and then we haven't touched the staminas yet, which is going to be quite amazing. See how much we can get before we finish off here. Just making the final few stamina potions. As you can see as well, we've uh, made it more than 16% of the way to 99 herb lore, which is very nice. Uh, overall, during the course of this grind, I gained 1.925 mil XP, which is very, very beautiful. Uh, I'm glad to be done with it as well. Almost to the maximum amount of herb lore we can get on the account, which is very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to go and decant everything also, and uh, I'll be back once I have some nice abundant stocks of potions. 2,000 Staminas just looking at that makes me very, very happy. Alrighty, there we are, the GE. Let's go ahead and decant all the herbs we've just freshly made. Oh, that is looking spicy. 1.5k prayer potions, four doses to add to the bank. That is just beautiful. Uh, but let's uh, throw everything in the price check. That comes out less as the herbs. I think the herbs were like 45.5, but um, still, 43 mil. That is beautiful amount of uh, potions right there. Got some super attacks as well, super strengths, a uh, ton of ranging potions, which is always very useful. The plan has been set in motion right now to obtain a 99 ranged, um, since we probably won't get the Dragon Hunter crossbow or Dex. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I will just go for 99 ranged instead. If we should still happen to get one by luck uh, of those items from raids, then I guess these chins can get saved later on for the Armadale grind. However, I think I'm going to go for 2,000 chins. Again, I'm not precisely sure if that's going to be enough to get me the rest of the way to 99 ranged um, but if it isn't I will continue to do some slayer as I need a bit of a rebuild money wise after this episode I spent like 16 mil on construction and herb lore so it's a bit of a tight spot financially but that being said let's continue hunting uh, 1.2k chins left to go there's the ammunition we need hopefully to get us the rest of the way to 99 ranged uh, combine these with the chin chompers in my bank and I think that brings us up to about 4k but yeah very nice there Got a couple of 100k Hunter XP as well to boost the high score rank a tiny little bit. Feels good, 2500 red chins. Just uh, one final thing left to go in this episode. We're gonna stick with the spirit of doing really weird or strange side objectives. So right now, as you can see, I might be speaking to this silver merchant. If you guys remember the Making History quest, there's actually a mini quest with the enchanted key. I needed to rebuy this of him for 500 GP, so absolute scam right there, but yeah. Let's go get it completed and uh, wipe that disgusting yellow stain off my quest log. I think this should be the last spot of the mini quest and then it should be completed. The key dissolves in your hand, that is a relief. I've been at this for an hour, probably could have been a lot more efficient, but there we go. We just uh, got a hold of these three staves I don't think literally any player in the game currently owns, but... I don't know, I might be wrong about that, but more importantly, we now have completed the Enchanted Key mini quest, and it's turned a nice green colour in the quest log, but with that, that is about the last thing I wanted to do, let's go and conclude the episode. I think that will about bring a close to episode 49 of the Hardcore Iron Man Progress, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode, well and truly a return to our roots uh, with a nice bit of skilling. I think we went up about 10-15 total levels in the course of this episode, so I'm well happy with the progress, uh, got up to level 90 smithing, 85 mining as well, very very nice. I can now mine runite in my downtime to keep the ammo stocked up for the blowpipe. Uh, that being said as well, we did go up two herb lore levels, so we're almost 99, unlocking every single potion along the way, so uh, truly truly solid gains. That being said, we did spend about 16 mil overall on the herb lore and construction grind. We went up three levels uh, this episode as well in construction, so very, very solid stuff there, building ourselves some master level stash units, two more levels and then we'll be able to build the storage in raids. That would be pretty cool actually for uh, keeping our points up and stuff. And yeah, right before the end of the episode as well, catching ourselves 2,500 chins, bringing us up to a total of just over 4,000 uh, to chin with in the next episode, right before... The big one, Dragon Slayer 2, it's all happening dude, I'm uh, excited and scared, this could well be the last time we stand as a hardcore, but hopefully that isn't the case, and uh, we'll find out for sure in the next episode. Uh, apart from that, we did also complete that annoying enchanted key mini quest, that was a waste of time, but at least now it's uh, green in the journal, so you know, can't complain too much. So yeah, mainly focusing on Dragon Slayer 2, getting myself to 99 ranged, 
and some other assorted skilling and side objectives in the next episode. With that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed the build-up to Dragon Slayer 2. I hope I'll make it out alive, but you never can tell with uh, those kind of quests. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.